He's open. He can't miss. Come out. Lathan. And now Baldwin Jr. connects from deep. And he is obviously dealing with public battle with cancer. We wish him the best. Is Patrick Baldwin. Protecting that rim. Baldwin at 6 9. First time shot. <laughs> right, so he came to help. Yeah. <laughs> and now Baldwin, the floater in the lane, goes down. And that's the... Now Baker Jr. thought about a three himself, but stops and hands to Baldwin. Free throw line, jumper in. And there it is again, going right back to him. He's just he's such a mismatch problem. He can make it. Transferred in from UTEP. Baldwin for three. You know, he's got one of those jumps. nothing run for Milwaukee trying to add to it here. Right back to him. He's open. He can't miss. Come out. Patrick Baldwin Jr., welcome back. <laughs> I guess so. As we see here, good job ball reversal. Just got this good ball fake, most importantly. But again, that's 6'10". That's pretty good defense. And more times than not, you would say that's a tough shot. But he just has the ability to shoot over the defenders. This one again, just stepping in. Rhythm threes. We see off a little bit of a secondary broken type break here. Gets left open in the corner. A little miscommunication by Robert Morris. But once you've made those first three, then... Nathan. Holman's open again. This guy's unbelievable. This is absolutely spectacular so far here in the first half of this game. And, if you're... and the Panthers can add to it. It just does a great job of finding the, the opening behind the zone. And Chase Cook has played a grand total before today of three minutes. Has not attempted a three on the air. So he's made Patrick Baldwin Jr. Baldwin. Good for the elbow. Milwaukee over the last minute, they've scored six straight points. St. Pierre on the block to Baldwin, and he's fouled on the way up. And hits them both. As we get to the four-minute mark of regulation. Three from the corner. Thomas knocks it down off the pass from Baldwin. He is joining us now on the court. Patrick, thanks so much for taking a few minutes for us. Obviously, you missed the last three games. You come back today. Uh, it didn't take you long to get your rhythm. What was kind of the mindset going into this one? Yeah, I just needed to keep our team competitive in this game. I had to be aggressive, so just take my shots, take what the defense gives me, uh, and just play good basketball. Now, you missed, obviously, the last three games. Sometimes missing a couple games, you get out of rhythm. Mm -hmm. How did you feel coming into this game after having missed those last few from a rhythm standpoint? Yeah, you know, my confidence never wavers regardless if I play no games or if I play all the games this season. So you just got to have that ultimate confidence in yourself and just knock down your shots and they're available. Was part of the strategy today to get a couple of shots in early and get yourself into a rhythm because, you know, they were finding you a lot at the elbow and you were just taking those jumpers and it looked mm -hmm. smooth. Yeah, you know, just taking those easy opportunities, getting yourself in the rhythm of the game, uh, free throws, short mid-ranges, and just kind of stretching the floor out. Health good, ankle feels good after playing, you know, you go missing three games, not playing any minutes, to all of a sudden coming back and playing a significant majority of the, yeah. majority of the game. Feeling good? We'll have to sleep on it, see how it feels yeah. in the morning. <laughs> I understand. It must have been tough for you. You know, you come in, obviously, there's all this hype surrounding your decision to come to Milwaukee, and no one would have expected that your team would start at 1-6. and six. How hard was it for you to watch your team the last three games and not be able to play? Yeah, you know, I take every loss personal, whether I'm on the floor or I'm off, but I think we're in a healthy mindset looking at the film. There's some things that we just really couldn't capitalize on in the last seven games, and I think you see it put it together. We're passing the ball, we're sharing the ball, so just playing good team basketball and getting everybody healthy. How have you been able, obviously, a lot of expectations coming in this year, a lot, of, a lot of pressure, a lot of hype, obviously very well earned. You're a terrific player, goes without saying, but how have you been able to handle that personally? Uh, you know, it's just basketball. You just got to keep it simple at the end of the day. Uh, it's a game I love to play. It's a game I've played since I was a child. Uh, so don't let the moment get too big for you. Who has more comments for you after a game, your dad or your mom? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's probably my dad for sure. Um, okay. But, you know, my mom, she's always there for confidence. And, I mean, she's here supporting every single game. So I love her to death. Well, congratulations. Unbelievable performance. Best of luck the rest of the year. Thank you. Thanks so much, Patrick Baldwin, Jr. Really appreciate him joining us.